Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Happy Finance Day. We're going to be organizing this week's paycheck for Friday. Feb I'm sorry, Friday, March 1st. It's actually the first week of March. So I actually forgot to print off budget sheets. So it looks like I'm going to have to quickly go and print one of those budget sheets off. So I'm going to go print one of those and I'll be right back. Quick reminder as well, you can find a lot of my stuff that you need in my Google Drive, which is linked down below and linked on my link tree, and it's called Budgeting Utensils. It's a whole folder on my Google Drive, and today I want to print off the light pink and purple floral personal spendings and savings, and I'm going to print off a total of uh, five of those because it's a five-week month. And we're going to do five copies and one page per sheet print. And then I'm also going to go right on back and I'm going to print off the minimalist plant weekly budget sheets. I'm going to go ahead and print some of those off. And we need five copies of those. Let me grab those and I'll be right back. Okay, so now I gotta organize these and then I need to go throughout and hole punch. So I need them to go in order from budget sheet to personal spending and savings, etc. Okay. So personal spendings and savings, weekly budget, personal spendings and savings, weekly budget because I need the weekly budget to go first. So there we go, that's the correct order for five weeks. Beautiful sun out there today. My printer is still making noise, but try to ignore that. So as you guys can see, we have a $30 cash stuffing today. Not much, I'm actually working on saving up my bank account savings in my bank. I'm going to go over some new goals that I've created for myself here in a little bit. But for now, I'm going to move our cash to the side and I'm going to move our budget binders up to the corner. That way we can open up the budget uh, finance planner budget, uh, the actual binder, the finance binder, and I can actually hole punch these. So they aren't really even. Okay. So that's about what we want to get, about looking like this. Looks pretty good. Okay. And I'm going to get out a little pen. Let's do this red one. That way I can properly see where these holes should be punched. And I'm going to actually move these out a little bit. There we go. Hole punch there, hole punch there, and hole punch there. And then I'm gonna line these up, grab my hole puncher, and then we're gonna go ahead and just hole punch these. Sometimes this thing gets stuck, but other times we're good, so. Okay. And last one down here at the bottom. Ooh, there we go. That'll be all of them. And now we'll just toss those in there, just like that. And now we are ready. I'll go ahead and label these with my pen. Okay, where was that pen? right there. I'll go ahead and I will label these. 
paycheck date. This first one's going to be 3 one Then this will be 3 one Then we'll have 3 8 24. And 3 8 24. I'll finish dating these and I'll be right back. Okay, and they're all labeled 3-1 through 3-29 for this five-week month. Let's go ahead and get started here with our cash layout page. I'm going to go ahead and uh, fill this out. Paycheck amount, how many miles we're given since we're paid by the mile, tides and givings, expenses, bills, and all that stuff. Okay. Paycheck amount this week is 1136 I don't know the exact change, and I'm not going to look it up. Um, miles this week, I guess I do got to look it up anyway. The, there was a total of, I believe, I'm not sure exactly how many miles. I think it was around... Uh, Like 1600 um, So right off the bat, this week is really bad. Um, there is, that's why our cash stuffing is only 30 bucks. Because everything is really, really tight this week because that's just the way it is. But I'll bring you guys through. But I'm severely upset because we can't do a tithe and a giving. Because there, I mean, we have taken money from the bills in the past to be able to give to God. And we, the way that I feel is that God doesn't want us to suffer to give him his tithe and his offering. So we're only getting what we have plus a little bit extra and that's it. So anyway, I'll bring you guys along. Bills is going to be the Jeep and that payment is $510. Next bill is, we have to have a partial. There wasn't quite enough to pay our car insurance last week. So we ended up having to throw in like an extra like 200 bucks or so onto like about 150 onto the farmer's, in, uh, farmer's insurance um, that was supposed to be paid last week. I'm not sure exactly how much extra we had to add to that. So I'm just going to put here... farmer's insurance and I'm just going to put a dollar sign with no info right now. Um, expenses. You're going to see allow C. These are trying to kind of spend for groceries and they used to be enough to be able to save on but any more groceries are so expensive that I mean it, it is so hard to even live anymore. Um, so these are the amounts, but we're going to take 20 out of each of these. To be able to um, do a little bit more to church, to God. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is what I get a week. And this is supposed to, I mean, in a month that comes out to be $800 usually. This month will be 1000 if I even get that every month, every week, which I might probably won't. And this is supposed to buy Cascade, which I have to buy two times a month, and that's $20. And then it's supposed to buy laundry detergent, which I have to buy two big ones every month. That's around uh, 50 about $52. Oops. And then, you know, it's supposed to get paper towels, which I have to buy uh, the jumbo pack, which is like $35. And then uh, it's like a really, really big pack. But, you know, it's like this money just doesn't go anywhere. And then whenever you count groceries, 
I mean, I spend close to $120 a week on groceries. I mean, that comes out to be 120, 120, 120, and 120. I mean, there's just like, there's more stuff that I have to buy for the house. And it's like, there's just nothing left ever. And yeah, there's just not a budget for that. It's just thrown over into my pocket. And I pretty much buy the stuff because I just take care of the household. But it's just impossible to live on this anymore. I mean, this used to be a good amount. Anyway, enough blabbling. I don't want to get this video depressing, but it is. So taking 510 minus or yeah, 1136 minus 510 minus 200 minus 200 minus 50. That is 176. And then we had to put 150 towards the car insurance. I thought it was 150. So there's gonna be $26 left that's gonna go to church plus these two 20s. So we're gonna have $66 that goes to church. To God. So this is this week. Um, a look at next week. It ain't looking too good next week either. Check will probably only be about 990 after taxes. They just don't seem to want to give us any miles. Give him any miles. It's like he just can't move. So let's go ahead. This video is going to get long because I have some budget binder reorganization I'm going to get to in his budget binder. But let's go ahead and jump into my budget binder first. Um, my budget binder amount currently, we're going to go ahead and do the cash stuffing. So I'm going to go ahead and place this down right here. And in my savings folder, there is $1,000 in here. Let's just go ahead and uh, count it to confirm it. Plus, for all you people out there who like to see cash counting videos, 100, 200, 300, 400, and 100. Give me a second, though, because I need to make some room here. So I'm going to get rid of my pen and get rid of this binder for now, and we'll come back to the binder here in a minute. Okay, and now let me go ahead and I'll move back in the cash tray and we'll go ahead and we will count this. So the first of all, let's just take care of my challenges here, which is where the 20 and the 10 are going. Um, they're going back here. The 20 is going into here. That's where the 20 is gonna go. I emptied this out and I put it in my bank and a partial of it was put in my savings and the rest I ended up having to use for groceries. So that's pretty much just gone. I'm gonna go ahead and color in one of those with one of my little highlighters. I think we'll use a soft little purple color. Oops. And I'm just going to fill this and I'm probably gonna to have to go over it another time because this purple is very, very light. There we go. Looks pretty good, right? I'll leave that out. Because then we're going to move down here to a $5 savings challenge, which I've been doing 10s in here every single week. So let's go ahead and add this 10. That now makes us go ahead and have 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. So $60 in here. So we'll go ahead and we'll color that in. We're gonna use purple again like we did last week. Okay, and there we go. We now have $60 in here. We're about almost halfway done because here's three and here's three. So once we get right about here, we'll be about halfway. So that's exciting. Okay, now let's go ahead and let's count what's in here. So this is in the savings. We have one, two, three, and 400. 51, 50, 200, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 400. I'm going to go ahead and move these up a slot, and then we can go ahead and count the emergency. 
which I pull, I had to pull hundred dollars from here and use it for groceries. 100, I'm gonna move that 100 down to here. 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 82. 20, 40, 60, 83. So that comes out to be $400 in the emergency fund for my own personal emergency, which is all I should ever need because I mean, the only thing that could happen to me would be like an alternator going out in a car, like a battery dead. And then in here we have a total of 200, this would be 600, and this would be 400, which makes 1,000. And that's how much is in my savings. So we got, we got those balances now, and they're all created. And then we're going to check the balances on these envelopes. This is Charles's, ooh, I'm sorry. This is Charles's envelopes. And he has $200 in his emergency fund, which I'm gonna get all this out and put it in our cash tray because I'm changing out these envelopes. I don't like the zippers. He has 50, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 120, 10, 20, 30. So that comes out to be 200 and this is his retirement savings and in here he has 50 I'm gonna lay it out right there 20 40 60 80 1 20 10 20 30 which comes out to be 200 again in the retirement and then he has an extra 50 that's put back here in his savings folder just the regular savings 20 40 50 and I'm just gonna put all these bills up front here. Okay. So I'm gonna go grab these new envelopes and then we're gonna change um, how this looks and all that. And I'll be right back with you guys with those new envelopes. Okay, everybody, I am back with these envelopes. So we're gonna need how many of these? We're gonna need one, two, three, four, five, six, six of these. One, two, three, four, five, and six. These are off of Amazon, they are curved, which I prefer the kind of like more squared off ones, but these are really, really nice the way they are. So I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna take out some of this stuff and reorganize everything. So I'll first put in the emergency fund envelope. And then we'll come on back here. I'll take out the retirement envelope and I'll put in a new retirement envelope for retirement savings. And then we'll come on back here and we'll take out the savings envelope. Ooh, just pinch my finger there. We'll put in a new savings envelope. <laughs> I'll tell you guys, today has been, I think one of the worst days of my life so far this morning, it's been a absolute terrible morning. I am very, very on edge and very irritated. I also am not feeling very well, so <laughs> today just is not my day. So if I seem quite, you know, kind of down in the dumps, I apologize. I don't know why these won't punch, but again, it's making me quite irritable. And then we'll do the debt one and then the kids one. Which the kids one for him, the kids one for him is uh, for all of his great grandchildren. All of his grandchildren are grown up, um, except my sister. She's still, you know, almost grown up though. But um, they're for his grandchildren, um, his great grandchildren in case uh, he wants to, like, I figured I'd start putting money back here for, like, Easter and stuff, but again, with the way this economy is right now, I don't even know if that's even going to be possible. 
Hmm. Why are these so hard? Okay. And then that is when we sit back there for extra card storage. Now let's go back up front so I can properly organize these. And I'm going to put this in along with this in. Okay, it's $50 savings for emergency. And then we'll throw in the retirement one. Okay, and then we'll throw in the savings already in there. Everything else is in their place. So now what I need to do is I need to get um, some more labels, which I don't think he has any labels. I don't know if I have any. So I got to go find some labels. I'll be right back when I get those labels. Okay, I was able to find these colorful ones from Skydo. So we're going to do a few of these. I'm going to do for the... Uh, for the Savings, we're gonna do, or the emergency, we're gonna do blue. Okay. And then I'm just gonna write on here. Emergency fund. And then this one is retirement. I'm gonna do yellow. I just feel like yellow is a really cute little color. Oops. Retirement fund. Sorry about that. Okay. I was trying to think about something. And then just regular savings challenge, I'm gonna do in purple. It's a little bit crooked. Okay, savings fund. And then this one's gonna be for kids. I'm not sure what order they were and I think it was, actually I do know what order it was, it was car. That writing sucks. I'm probably gonna order some labels so I'll just replace those then, but for now I'm just gonna use these. Then this one, I'm gonna label debt. Again, terrible writing it looks like. And then I'm gonna do one back here, which will be the one for kids. Okay. Mainly that they don't even get stuffed. It's just most of the emergency fund and the retirement fund. So let's go ahead and restuff these uh, up now. Then we'll get back to my binder. So emergency fund had 50, 20s, and 10s, 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 180, 190, 200. That is correct. Wow. Okay, where is it? Oh no, I put it on backwards. Well, I'll just have to put the money in like this. It's not that much different, but it's like the shorter part where you get to pull back on is in the back now. That's okay though, it's not that big of a deal. Wonder how many I did that with. Probably all of them, I think I did. Retirement fund got 50s, 20s, and these 10s, which was 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 180, 190, 200. 
two hundred retirement fund. Yeah, it's not hard to get your fingers in there either way, but <clears throat> I prefer them in the front. Okay, and these just get 50, 20, 40, 50. And this is the savings fund. Okay, so savings has 50, that's correct. Retirement has 200, that's correct. And emergency has 200, that's correct. So a total of 450. Smack out all the little beads. Okay, now let's get back to my binder here. We know what's in here now. Um, we got a thousand in here, only four hundred in here now, a twenty dollar bill, and then fifty, no sixty. And I gotta fill in these little areas right in here. So I'm gonna do two twenty nine. Deposit, cash, 20, makes the balance 20. And then this savings challenge, or this, this add-in, 229. Deposit, cash, 10. We now have 60. And that's all we got in here in this, in this binder. So now we can actually move the cash tray out of the way and we can get back into the binder to finish our writing. Let's go back here to this page. So the budget binder amount has 1,420 and 60. So 1,480. Coin jar bills is $36. I'm not quoting on Surge credit card. I don't feel like figuring that all out right now. Oh, I just bumped into you guys again. Okay. Bank account currently is sitting with, I'm sorry, let me take a look real quick. Okay, so. My balances in my account is 138 and 150. I have 138 in checking and 150 in savings. I have no cash in my wallet. I'm not gonna quote that card either this week. I have a new credit card coming in my own name, Capital One. So I will start, I'll have to remake these and add that little section so let's go ahead and total up my totals. We are sitting at $1,804. So hopefully I don't spend any more money and hopefully next week um, I'll be able to be just barely at $2,000 or a little bit above $2,000, which will be very exciting. Um, as of the next four upcoming weeks, we're going to have March, 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 and March, because there's four more weeks in March, and it should be probably 200. The last week should be 200, and then I'm not sure about in between yet, but hopefully around 200, um, and maybe I'll get some side hustle income this month, but that's kind of been failing also. So anyway, um, I think I need this the most today, but I am sure some of you do too. Deuteronomy 8, verse 18, but remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you the ability to produce wealth and so confirms his covenant, which he swore to your ancestors as it is today. Well, guys, that is it for today's finance planning and finance organization. I know this video was a little bit long because we went into detail looking at a lot of stuff today with the budget binders and reorganizing them, but they look really, really good. I have these, um, and, uh, and you can basically, it's like a template. If you guys would like one, I just kind of, Ooh, I keep hitting my tripod. I just created these there at night. I just wrote these up about how, you know, Jesus is using holy power to change our financial situation. God is allowing him to provide it for us. And the Holy Spirit has put itself in our money and our finances. And then I kind of wrote our story about how, you know, things are going for our family and you guys can, you know, kind of write yours as well. So there's like a little idea. If you want like the template, I can give it to you. And then you can add your own little story up there on like Canva or whatever. Um, so let me know. But that's it, you guys.
Um, you know, that's all for today. God is working something out for us. I know that. And, you know, hard work pays off. And, you know, I wouldn't have been able to get you know, the money that I have without my hard work and without God. So, you know, where I'm at, I'm very happy with myself. I'm not, you know, I'm not going to let myself get overwhelmed by these hard situations because as they say, you know, the storm brings sun without, without raining, then we never will ever see sun. You know what I mean? So the storm has to pass before the sun can come out. It can't just come out in the middle of it. So that's all for today. Thank you guys for stopping by on today's Finance Friday. Have a great day, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, everyone. Thank you.